Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Steph. So, somebody asked me, should you become an SQL developer rather than a software developer? Short answer is I would lean towards more software development than SQL because SQL development is more of a niche market, generally speaking. But the general rule that I always uh, preach is that when you're looking at potential technologies and languages that you're uh, considering, look at the local job market first. See what the local job market is about. That's number one. Number two, always consider the fact that regardless of the language that you learn, whether it be SQL or you go into full-fledged programming like Java or JavaScript or Python or PHP or whatnot, uh, once you've learned the basics and the fundamentals of programming and coding to move from one language to the next, it's not a big hurdle. The hardest part is in the beginning, if you're going to call it hard. But after you get through those basic concepts and techniques, they transfer across different languages. Beginners and maybe junior developers are concerned about what languages they know. But once you have a pretty good experience behind you, once you've done maybe 10 years, seven to 10 years plus of coding, you realize that it doesn't really matter too much. In your career as a developer, you're gonna be moving from this language to the next, from this framework for, to the next, etc. So to get too caught up in the frameworks or the languages is just a, a waste of time. So yeah, number one, you want to look at uh, the local market in terms of whether there's a lot of SQL developer demand or SQL coding demand. Number two, you want to look at, uh, you want to consider the long-term implications about learning one language or the next. And number three is whether or not you want to do that kind of coding. SQL coding, writing complex SQL is a totally different type of programming than, say, doing the web stack or from doing iOS development, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you gotta look at all these different things and to consider what it is that makes sense for you. That said, you still need to develop what I call the nerd eyes. You need to develop those nerd eyes that allow you to uh, determine what's better for you, right? If you go in there, you, you've never done any of this stuff before, it's very hard for you to pick one language from the next in terms of personal preferences. So what I always suggest, learn the fundamentals. Once you have the fundamentals, then you're free to go in any different direction. That's how I teach my Python course. That's how I teach my web stack course. Shameless plug, links below. If you wanna learn quickly, you learn your foundations, and then from there, you have your abilities to be able to decide what specialization you wanna go into. Specialization could be SQL coder. Specialization could be a Node.js uh, backend or Node.js full stack, or it could be PHP full stack with Laravel. It could be Python in AI development. It could be Python in server automation. There's all these different areas that you can go into. It's, it's huge. And doing one type of programming is different from another type of programming in terms of the type of work that you're doing, but and this might be a little bit hard to understand, the foundations are the same, the foundation. So if you learn to play, I'll make an analogy, if you learn to play guitar, once you understand how to play guitar, you understand notes and progressions and scales and timing and tempo and all this kind of stuff, whether you're playing blues or jazz or fusion jazz, you know, that's a matter of preference. It's a matter of preference. If you're well-trained in music, and you understand your instrument well, then you can move from different types of music. Same thing with programming, by the way. So yeah, local job market, number one, check to see if it's the type of work you wanna do. And uh, finally, you wanna look at, um, you wanna consider in the back of your mind at least, that whether you learn this language or that language, in the medium and long term, it has no impact whatsoever because as a developer, successful developers will pivot from different technologies to different technologies. And there you have it. Ciao.